me, little fella? You get all your bacon gone by. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I don't know how it's good on that frying pan I just cooked on. That's going right in the garbage. Yes, I said that too. Morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Last time I uh, I done a video was first when I bought this place. And uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time since. But anyways, here we are. Father and son trip. I came down 8 o'clock last night. Young fella followed around 10.30. I had the fire going and everything else. So me and the young fella decided to come down, uh, come down for a weekend. Cut a bit of wood. Do a bit of hunting around. Do a bit of quad riding. Skipper got his new quad on the go. Pretty excited about that in your butt. Yeah, loves it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy a good father and son trip. And uh, show you guys around. Stay tuned. So we've decided we're going to start this morning off with a quad ride. Why not? You ready? Yeah. Well, let's go. like to get up high and look over many bags. I could spend hours here. Good ride so far, Skipper, or what? Yeah. Just cold. Yeah. Talking to a few moose hunters out the road there. Someone had shot at a cow, I believe it was. We'll probably hit her back now and uh, start cutting that wood. Yeah. Let's do it. Who put that there? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> you got a lift. Oh, wait, he's heavy. Uh, 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 oh, it's Stand and dry, boy. You can't beat it. I got enough wood for winter. I'm just cutting this now. I burn this now and burn my dry stuff when it gets really cold. Of course, 
scare her misunderstood what I said when I said stole it in long ways. You didn't say it right. <laughs> I was like, put it uh, in that way, right? And you're like, that way, yep. You'll get her. Yeah. I'll know for the next time. Don't mind that wood though, do you? No. No. That's it, boy. When it keeps you, keeps your butt warm, eh? I said to sleep for Oh, yeah. You don't say that when your bum's warm. <laughs> huh? When you're tucked in at night. And it's minus five like it was last night. Yeah. Did you complain about the wood last night? No. I didn't either. Some dandy standing dry, that is. How to buy work, work, work. Play after. Of course, we played this morning. Yeah. Went for a quad ride. Beautiful day, though. Two degrees today. I wanted to get some. Uh, I wanted to get some cool footage. I was going to put the GoPro on, and change on, and stuff like that. There, but <laughs> I forgot my GoPro. I had I had some intentions of. Uh, making a YouTube video out of this trip, but uh, I forgot my camera, and so I decided not to. And I made a, a TikTok on the way in last night, and Jason's, Jason from, uh, Jason Linstead, from uh, Jason's Outdoor Adventures, commented and said, hey, do a video. So you guys gotta go check out his channel. Me and the wife looks forward to every time he posts one, posts a video. Great down to earth fella. Salted earth, he says. Salted earth. Well, I suppose we pitter patter you get back at her, eh? Yeah. This is what happens when he gets greedy <laughs> and not paying attention. Come on, baby. Well, for all that work, he's coming home with me. Yeah. Was that a gas nose look? It was up too high. He had it up. Yeah, sticked out front with chainsaw. That tops off the load of wood, boys. Now we just gotta get her out, we're getting stuck. Now, join the gym or be in the woods? Be in the woods. <laughs> He's been on and on and on about joining the gym. I said, my son, he wants to work. I'll show you work. Uh, we'll get that out now and get some dinner on the go, I suppose. I said it's gonna be chips.
Alrighty, folks, back at the camp. We got so much of the wood sold in. Like I said, we're just cutting, just to keep her going now while uh, the half warm weather is here. And then when cold weather gets here, I'll be cutting for next year and uh, burning the dry wood I got. It's a little bit later now. It's what, two o'clock? Two, two and nine, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we got stuck pretty good. And well, my phone died, so that was the end of that. Great, right. myself, 2.39. 2.39. So we're going to get a quick bite. Looks like Skipper's already started on the chips. I think I'm just going to have beef jerky or something. And then we're going to get it on the go again, because daylight cut short now. The old fire is doing good. Can't beat the old barrel stove. Punch off some heat, that do. So folks, a little tour of the cabin. It's a privacy room over there. That's Skipper. That's our bunk house in there. It's not a big cabin, it's perfect for me. Perfect for us. And this area here is my next project. <clears throat> not much of a carpenter, but I can manage to do something. Well, for temporary right now, we got a table, a desk sort of thing here, steel table. And I got stove propped up on something that's all hooked up, ready to, it, it works as you seen this morning. And my fridge. Now, that's half propane, half electric. And I want it for the propane part of it because I absolutely hates the generator going. Can't stand it. Even though I got a pretty quiet it now. You can't even hear it, can you? No, I can barely hear it. Barely. Yeah, that's kind of good to hear stuff. But I hate the generator going, so... I wanted to make this place as generator free as possible. So I got uh, these lights coming that apparently they charge us and all that good stuff and the fridge. But in order for me to use the propane part of the fridge, I got to cut a big hole in the wall. So I guess generator is going to have to be. Unfortunately, I'm figuring I'm going to go with inverter. Stick it as far out there in the shit as I can, and way to go. Yeah. So anyway, that's next project, or well, probably, when I say next project, it's probably going to be midwinter, maybe. So I'll include you guys in on that there. You guys can make all kinds of fun of me trying to build a set of cabinets. Yeah. I says we go for a walk. So I'm going to take you up to the best place around. Sort of comes with the cabin. I guess. Everyone can use it, but it's become my favorite place, so let's go. Generator turn now, Skipper? Yep. As you can see, it's really muddy this time of year. Extremely muddy, eh, boy? Hey, boy. Uh, let's go for a stroll. The views. Huh. Which way to go? Option A, option B. Hmm. Some water on the go now. <laughs> I'm out of shape. Yeah. Well, not really around your shape, but. <laughs> spot it's been less time up here lately the actual first time I came up here <clears throat> I came up over that cliff stone right Matter what? That's a big cliff. That's a big cliff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you got up over that, but 
Well, let's just say if I slipped, that it went down a lot faster. <laughs> oh, boy. The only thing to make this any better now is the moose walk out over there for a drink of water. Go for a swim. Last time I was here, a bunch of geese flew over. Really? Mm -hmm. Anyways, boys, we're gonna go on a little walk about, walk back to the camp and put some wood in the fire and get dressed up and go for a little scoot somewhere, I figures. See if we can't see a moose since the sun's going down. That'd be nice to see now this evening. I think we need to add a feature to these chairs. What's that? Heat of seats. Heat of seats. Oh, hold on. See, you gotta make yourself uncomfortable in a controlled situation. So, in other words, we're dressed very lightly. And it's what, two, two, no, I'd say it's zero now. So we're a little bit chilly. We're a little bit uncomfortable. In a controlled situation that we can easily just run down to the cabin and get warmed up or whatnot, to prepare yourself that if you're in a situation that does not control, say you're lost in the woods, you'd be like puff or a. Hey boy. Hey boy. That's the way I figures. I always like, like to make myself uncomfortable for when it's time to when I really need it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I'll wait for you. Don't go for your boots. Try not. It's not even chilly, it's just the wind. Huh? The wind is chilly. <laughs> I can't feel my cheeks. And feel your cheeks. Yeah. How close is that? You're That's deadly. That's, that's pretty cool. I hope my camera's picking it off. Yeah. The boy's just leaving a buddy's cabin and stopped for make a phone call and the coyotes. That was wicked, eh? Yep. First time. We're gonna try some coyote hunting down here. Yeah. Back to the cabin. <laughs> Alright guys, me and the young fella got back from a quad ride, uh, battery died on my phone so I had to charge up again and we got some surprise visitors. Hi! Hi! So seems a little bit camera shy, I'll see you guys in the morning. She's a cold one this morning boys. I think I'm gonna head up to the lookout. See what I can't see. <clears throat> I really expected to get more content last night. Yesterday for Soft Airbus. We ended up to a friend's cabin and everyone in here is really nice. We, uh, they were having a late supper and they offered us some supper, so. <clears throat> I pretty much never had to cook anything this weekend. I'm going to put in a lot more videos now that the winter's coming. I got hot tent videos coming up. Hoping to get a trip with the young fellow with that one. That's pretty quiet in there. Shh. Wait till you moose. This view is never going to get old. to start in the form. Won't be long now. So 
So folks, like I said, uh, this uh, weekend never turned out like I wanted it to. I wanted to have a, a bit more content. But even last night, an unexpected guest. My oldest uh, is pretty camera shy, so I respect that. And uh, we enjoyed our night last night. Play 2000s, listen to the cabin party. It was, it was an awesome night. But this morning, apparently they're calling for some bad weather, so we're gonna pack up early and head her up. And uh, I might do a few more odds and ends around the cabin. I might get that on video as well. But uh, there's lots more to come, boys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and you guys keep straying on it.